Welcome back everybody, today we're going to have some fun with TNT and for that I've built a special TNT cannon that is powerful but doesn't use as many TNT blocks as many other cannons per shot and we're going to just use it by placing 4 or more propellant TNT in the chamber with the water down below and then filling these chambers with the TNT which will inflict the damage in our target which is a very high up a glass block now we're going to just shoot it with these buttons and as you can see the TNT I've now replaced all the air with some stained glass which is yellow to better represent the, the explosion and as you can see it is massive and you would wreak havoc on whatever you were targeting for sure now let's see how it works as you can see I've made a mock up of the cannon and this is just half of the cannon cut in two and we've lit uh, the propellant TNT now and the propellant TNT is in water so it doesn't do block damage but it still does normal damage to players and also uh, has uh, still has some knockback and because TNT knocks back TNT we can use that in uh, that knockback from the propellant to sh uh, shoot the other TNT which is in the chamber. The chamber works uh, like this. First of all, the first sliver of the TNT, so the first four TNT gets lit with repeaters, and then the other TNT are pushed into the place where that TNT was. And because the TNT which is lit is now a entity. You can also uh, push in those blocks. After all of the TNT is lit, we just push it into the middle and onto a brewing stand where it is immediately shot up by the propellant because it explodes at that moment. And we use a brewing stand because a brewing stand has the property that the height is exactly the same as a normal block. But it can, uh, a, the push force of the propellant can pass through the brewing stand allowing it to shoot. You can also use other blocks but it won't achieve the same results. Uh, but you can mess around with that. I would recommend if you don't want to use a brewing stand maybe a slab. But I haven't tried that yet. So building this cannon is actually quite easy and we're going to start by building a tub uh, and uh, this tub has to be 5 blocks long just like this and at the end you have to place a brewing stand in the direction where you want to fire then on the other end we want to place a water source and above that a carpet so you don't place TNT in that water source then we want to go below the uh, last block right here next to the water source and this is going to be our input and by the way I'm only building one side so you have to mirror it on the other side so right, right here where the wall is you have to place the other water source right here but from this block down here we're going to go out like this and I'm using concrete for the redstone then create a snake like structure and then we want to power the blocks where the TNT is going to sit with the repeaters just like that all of those have to be on one tick then we have to go out from that redstone right here with a four tick repeater then just extend it a little bit and then get some more repeaters and set all of them to four ticks now we're going to go right here uh, to the brewing stand and one block after that we're going to place a four uh, a four blocks of a immovable object I like to use no blocks but you can use obsidian or whatever you like you shouldn't use melons though because they can be pushed and then they would break so then we want to go below that below this floor which I just created and again power these two blocks with repeaters 
and this is uh, what uh, is going to ignite the TNT which is going to inflict the damage then above that we want to power these node blocks to uh, to activate the upper TNT and we're going to activate it both times with one tick repeaters then just create a ladder just like that and place in last four tick repeater just like that then we want to have some p double piston extenders pushing the rest of the TNT into these powered positions and then onto the brewing stand and for that we're going to place in two double piston extender sets so here we have to place four and here two just above each other and then place in a wall right here the double piston extenders are a bit plump complicated but first of all you want to power them from above the, with redstone just like that once at the first one and then one block uh, uh, before the second piston just like that and then connect the uh, first row so for the first piston the front piston with this uh, to the second piston with a two trick repeater on both double piston extenders then from this line of redstone we want to have a four trick repeater going to the second double piston extender then we want to grab out a slab and place it right here on the corner and then place uh, some more repeaters a four tick repeater right here and a two tick repeater facing into the first double piston extender then a one tick repeater to the uh, uh, sticky piston right here and then connect them with redstone like this again in a stair like fashion and now we just have to connect it uh, to this redstone and we have to use redstone and a three tick repeater that's pretty much the whole contraption and if you only build one side that's okay you just have to use a three tnt like i said already and you have to place any block right here and i'm just using various so you can see through so this is what it should look like about about like that and yes li exactly like that and now you can build the shaft and for that we're going to just place in a block then a slab block slab block in this uh, kind of fashion it could be steeper but I like to have it safe like that and now you can fill the TNT cannon and right here you have to use three and don't forget to put a roof on it or else it won't work now we are ready to fire and it should all be well like that the TNT is pushed onto the brewing stand that's uh, the most important thing of this cannon because all the TNT flies uh, together that's a very good thing to have a big explosion but now i hope you enjoyed and if you did make sure to like and subscribe but anyway you can check out my other projects if you are interested in more redstone stuff or i could see you in the next one i hope to